Good morning everyone, welcome to the Hilllands Herd of Pedigree British Lops. This is the start, my first two gilts. Um, I chose the British Lop breed because I want to eventually do ham and bacon and their offspring you can take to bacon weight and they don't really go to fat. With proper feeding you can get a nice lean carcass which the British public seem to prefer which makes it easier to sell. I keep them in this paddock, about an acre and a half of meadow grass, lots of shade, a good wallow, insulated pig arcs for comfort, for warmth in the winter, cool, cool in the summer. Uh, they're big arcs, big enough for farrowing in. The field would be taken for a year, then ploughed up and put into a wildflower meadow mix when we move to the paddock to the next block. Again, a good size so they can exhibit all their natural functions, rooting, digging, wallowing, finding stuff to eat in the grass. So this is Gertrude on the left, Hermantrude on the right, feeding out of old fashioned Mexican hut pig feeders. That reduces the waste, there's hardly any. They try to push everything around the bowl rather than out the side onto the ground. They'll have a litter this spring and the litter can grow on to the autumn. Some will be sold for wieners some will be sold, kept for pork, and some will go on to bacon. As I say, it's the start of the herd. Hopefully if sales go well, we can increase and uh, help this danger, endangered breed carry on. As the late Car Clarissa Dixon Wright of the Two Fat Ladies said, there are actually more giant pandas in the world than British lot pigs. So, quick overview, hope you like it. Bye.